Hey, it's Alicia from AbilityMastery.com and I want to talk to you today about the one big mistake I see people do with an acute injury. So I'm talking things like sprained or rolled ankles, um, maybe falling on your wrist or your elbow or your shoulder or something like that, and you end up with joint pain or soft tissue pain. most professionals that you will go to might try to have you do or what you might instinctively do is take weight off or stop using that part of your body or even worse put it in a boot put it in a brace immobilize it basically so why is this bad well when you immobilize tissue you're going to stop blood from flowing as easily um, and you need blood to heal an injury you're also going to mold the fascia into a more restricted, not fluid um, shape, which is also going to prevent blood flow from flowing even more and start to build up some fascial restriction, which is going to then somewhat irritate whatever joint is nearby and maybe even make your healing process for whatever injury you're struggling with take longer. But in my opinion, it's not all that necessary if you know how to actually take care of that injury um, right from the get-go. So while a lot of injuries are different, there are a few similarities, whether it's that rolled ankle I talked about or twisting a knee, right, or falling um, on your wrist or shoulder uh, or your hip. And that is you actually want to start to mobilize gently the tissue in that area. So with a rolled ankle, for example, it might be pointing and flexing your foot or doing some circles. Um, just to get your brain and body talking, to get blood flowing, and to make sure that the tendons and ligaments and soft tissue aren't going to stay in a traumatized contraction from whatever just happened that caused the injury in the first place. So one thing that I've seen with my clients over and over and over is whether someone was in a car accident 20 years ago or they rolled their ankle like 10 times, you know, in their 20s, and now they're 45 and they're in my office, the telltale signs are often still in the fascial system, and that's because, in my opinion, a lot of the time, we're immobilizing the area for one thing, so we're not moving those tissues and actually stretching them back out to their normal shape, uh, but we're also not going to that fascia and helping it relax back into a healthy position or a fluid position, and we might have actually predisposed ourselves to whatever injury just happened even with something like a sprained ankle or a fall that you might think was just an accident or a root leapt out from the trail and tripped you, right? If you're trail running and you roll an ankle, but actually um, our fascial system and the shape it takes on a consistent basis uh, can predispose us to certain things like rolling an ankle. So, you know, some people just don't roll ankles and more than likely they don't have that fascial predisposition in their body that makes the outside ligaments, for example, overstretched or over weak um, or loose and the inside too tight. So just a little sprained ankle um, data for you there, but um, that's gonna predispose you. So what I want you to do instead of immobilizing an area, if you have something like an acute injury, and ob obviously I'm not talking about like, you know, if you're bleeding profusely or you were in a car accident or anything like that, I'm talking just, you know, rolled ankles, um, falling, stuff like that, nothing serious, and obviously talk to your doctor. Um, but I want you to actually um, use some gentle mobilization of the joint. Um, try to put weight on, say, your foot, if it's the ankle. Um, but then also you can actually go into your fascial system and start releasing fascia right away. And that is actually an okay time to do it. Now you don't want to go to a um, severely bruised area, for example, if you fell, um, but you could gently. And what that's gonna do is just help flush any um, you know, fluid accumulation out of the area. It's gonna bring fresh blood in. It's gonna open up the fascial system around whatever joint or soft tissue area that's currently injured and your body needs blood to heal. Um, so that would be my number one recommendation is open up those fascial channels, but then keep moving. Don't immobilize that joint. Um, I have worked with clients who've either fallen or acutely sprained an ankle and 
most in most cases if you google sprained ankles they're going to tell you it takes six to eight weeks to heal that's bullshit i'm sorry to say but it is <laughs> um now it doesn't mean that you maybe on your own can do it in a day um me with my clients it might take a couple days or a week but usually within a week um, if they're in my office getting worked on by me um, they're back to walking running you know no big deal feeling pretty good pretty quickly so um, the trick here is to go help your body heal by doing the things i talked about instead of immobilizing the area and making it difficult for your body to do what it wants to do to keep you healthy and active so i hope you found this helpful if you did please leave a comment below if you try it definitely um, let me know below inspire someone else maybe to not wait to heal and do what's necessary by sharing your success story below i love reading all of your stories and i'll come talk to you in the comments if you're new here make sure to hit subscribe and join my email community or my facebook group um, and get some free resources when you do by clicking the link below i share tips and stories i don't share anywhere else in both places and i'll see you next time